So everybody, I'm gonna do a quick review on Final Fantasy 13 too. Well, I hope it's quick, since there's a uh, little stuff to talk about. So this is a sequel to 13, and the main villain is his is a guy named Caius. And overall, this game is better than 13. You can't. This game is the story is based on time travel, going to different worlds, fixing these time paradoxes, which are basically things that don't belong to time. You have to do, do something to, like, do certain things to get to fix the time and fix those paradoxes. And this game does have alternate endings. Well, ha the, for, like... For Atlas, say for example, say you beat Atlas at full power, then you get then you get an alternate end the alternate ending for it. Then you have to battle then you can also battle them when they're weaker, which you have to do, which in some which you have to fix the time break paradoxes in either the time you're in or another time. And each time is is linked, so if you're confused, if you about which about what time will affect what, then they then most of them are linked. I know there's one that's not really linked to one, so you can't. So you'll just have to figure that out. I do have a playthrough of it. It's fifty three, fifty two, fifty three parts. I have. 45 up right now, so, and I'm gonna finish the upload today, but, I think, do I think you should pick this game up? Well, if you play 13, then, if, if you want to look at Final Fantasy 13 better, then this game will definitely make you look at the game better. I like what they do with the graphics, the graphics look well, they look good. This game does have DLC, unlike 13, for battling opponents, outfits, weapons, etc. And just to tell you, there is a weapon available for download for 80 Microsoft points, which I really think you should get. And with the weapon, it's for Sarah. You buy it the first time it's your guild. That's for all the weapons you could download. And every time she attacks the enemy, she gains health. So, just to tell you, pick that weapon up. You know, this game is shorter than 13. So, 13 has 13 chapters. And four, and this one has, if I'm correct, like five, like six. Because the final is like the sixth one. In this game, they added, like, I guess, like, many games like clock puzzles um and there's just and then the other stuff I've got the name of the other one but they're there and in this game you can ride after B level you can ride chocobos and do all that and some improvements in the battle system are now you can switch your leader while in battle. You can upgrade your character to level 99, which the way it works now is you upgrade your character. You upgrade your character once, then they go to the next level and you keep going. And you can easily upgrade them. And once you upgrade them to a certain point, then you can get options like ATB gauge up, which I did first, or access or accessory plus ten or twenty. You know, with just stuff like that, or you know, power ups, or or you know, just in, in improvements on your different roles. When you beat monsters, sometimes, and this also is part with DLC. So if you battle. Omega or Lightning and Am and Am Amadar, then keep battling them. You can get them 
on your team. So when you beat, so when you beat a monster, sometimes you'll see a white crystal. Equip that to your character. I mean, to your party, you and you'll, and then you'll have that monster, and they can help you in battle. The monsters do have their own attacks called the Feral Gauge. Once it gets Feral Gauge gets to fully charged, then they could do a powerful an attack, and you have to press you no know, buttons. And if you get all the buttons, then you can stack your enemy. Help, and they help stack your enemy. And and in some boss battles, or most besides the final, there are quick time events that you can do, that you have to do. And 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 they're pretty simple to do. And with the quick time events, if you get them, you get a perfect cinematic action, which what they call the quick time events, cinematic, cinematic actions. So, and with the environments in the game, you after you beat the game, you can go back to the environment. And especially with the areas that are raining and snowing, with the rain, it actually looks like the rain is hitting the screen. And with the snow, when you can't be going to snow, you can actually, just, like, the snow is actually all over them. And it just makes it look real, kind of realistic, you know. Either way, that's my review for Final Fantasy 13 2. I think you should pick it up. Yes, I think it's worth $60. Rent it first, and if you think it's worth $60, then buy it then. Either way, that's my review for this game. I'm, I have mean, it's like seven minutes now. So I don't want to hold you guys up any longer. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later in my next video. And also one more thing I forgot to say. That there is... That... The... You will get choices in the game with conversation. And depending on how you answer the questions, how you option you choose will determine what the character how the conversation will go and all that so either way sorry for that that's it and see you later for my next video